We're still in the project demo 11. We're still in the schematic subfolder, but we're now in a new blank drawing. We've moved away from the ladders drawing, which was demo 2020. We're now in demo 2525 there. You can see it there. It's a blank drawing. Now you'll notice there's a little extra line in the top left corner. We'll come to that in a moment. Don't worry about it. It's kind of easy to work out what it does when we start doing what we're going to do later. Up until now, we've just used the regular reference numbering that we set up when we place things like ladders, components, and so on. So it's just come up with the next reference number in the list, so to speak. Now, what you can do is you can set up grids on your AutoCAD electrical drawings, and you can do that by way of controlling the drawing properties. So you would have noticed when we went to insert a ladder on the schematic tab in the insert wires wire numbers panel here that we have the option of an XY grid setup or an X zones setup. The reason that you have those different setting up methods is so that you can actually tally up the components and the ladders on your drawings. So let's have a look at setting up an XY grid setup first. You do it in the properties of your drawing. So you come down here to the project manager, right click on demo 25, properties, drawing properties like so. And you go to drawing formats, this tab here. Now you'll notice we have a format referencing setup here. I need an XY grid like so, and you can see the little preview there. I click on setup. And what happens now is I can set up all of this information. Now that little line in the top left corner, you can see why it's important. So if I click on pick there, checking any files for any marked in use read only, which there isn't, and I need to go to that point there, that is now the origin of my XY grid setup. Now the spacing is going to be two inches each way, horizontally and vertically. That's fine, you can see the distances there. There's the vertical, there's the horizontal. Now the XY format will be horizontal, vertical. I can flip that if I want to, vertical, horizontal. I would prefer horizontal, vertical, and the separator is going to be a little dash. You can just see it there in that box there. So now I need to put the grid labels in. Now these all have to be separated with commas and no spaces. So I click there like that, and what I do now, comma, and then B, and then comma, and then C, and then D, like so. Make sure you get the commas in there though, comma, E. And I'll keep going until we get to a suitable number of letters, like so. So we'll get to H, that gives us eight. Now the numbers obviously need to tally up. So you go one, comma, two, comma, three, comma, four, comma, five, comma, six, comma, seven, comma, eight. All of that's in there. So now when I click on OK, and then click on OK again, those drawing properties are now set up for that drawing demo 25, like so. So I go up here now, click on the flyout and go XY grid setup. I go insert XY grid labels, horizontal count, vertical count. Obviously there's eight and eight. Click on OK, and there they are there. Now I've just used the default settings. I haven't actually set up any fonts or any text for this, but if you zoom in, you can see there's the A, B, C, one, two, three, and so on. What I always do is I always try and bring my origin in a bit, hence that little line. That line is actually two inches long at 45 degrees. And what I used here was the object snap tracking between that endpoint and that endpoint to get an exact corner and then just dragged it down. So what happens now if I place a ladder, let's say? Can I place a ladder in a drawing that uses an XY grid? Well, let's go and have a look and see. Insert ladder. I can still insert a ladder, no problem. Width is 4.5, spacing 0.75. And let's go for, I don't know, let's say 10 rungs. Press tab, that'll work that out for me. I'll leave it as one phase and draw the rungs yes. Click on OK. Specify a start position, say there. And you'll notice this time there are no reference numbers on the actual ladder itself. That's because you refer to these here. So you've got B3 will be there, and so on and so forth. Ideally, what you want to do is you want to set up your ladder so that it actually ties in with the coordinates and the spacings. Now, I haven't done that in this case. You can see that that ladder does not tally up exactly with any coordinates on that XY grid. However, 
other things that come into the drawing can access the grid that we've placed, the XY grid, and can actually have reference numbers associated with the grid. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to undo the ladder. Takes a few steps on the undo like that on the quick access toolbar. I'm going to go to the schematic tab on the ribbon and then click on the icon menu. And this will bring up all of the icons, the schematic symbols that I can place inside my drawing. So let's go for something simple like a relay or a contact. So if I click there, I'll go for, let's say, a relay. So you've got normally closed or normally open, NC or NO. So let's go for a relay, normally closed contact, that one there. And I'm going to place it, let's say, in that A1 area there. So that'll update everything there. There's the tag. I'm just going to OK that, and I'm going to zoom in. So you can see there that that is just a relay, closed relay. Now that doesn't actually pick up anything off of the grid. So let's go and find something that might pick up something off the grid. Some of them do and some of them don't. And you've got to kind of work on it and work out which ones do and which ones don't. If you're building up a circuit, you can normally find ones that do actually pick up on this information. So, for example, motor control. Let's put a three-phase motor in there. And we'll drop that, say, there. Can you see there, MOTC1. Just click on OK there. And if I zoom in now, there's the C. There's the 1, motor C1. Can you see it's picked up that grid reference? So if I now move that component, so I'll click on it, right-click, and I'll move that component over here to E1. What will happen is it'll update, and now it's saying, would you like to run auto retag on the component? Now, I do need to retag it because it's in a different place on the grid. So if I OK to retag that, and I zoom in, it's now E1. So that's why these grids are useful, especially when you're going symbol to symbol. Rather than have a logic ladder, you might be going point to point on a circuit, starting at A1 and going across to E1. Any components going across from A1 to E1 will obviously pick up on that grid. So that's why these XY grids, when you're referencing, are very, very useful in your AutoCAD electrical drawings.